in the days of old. Over the years and during the uprising of Ipubs, some Igbos have been claiming that the Igbo people are the lost tribe of Israel and so the direct descendants of ancient Israelites. The first person to come up with this idea is Olauda Eguiano, an ex-slave in 1789, followed by Archbishop G.T. Basden by publishing a book titled Among the Igbos of Nigeria. These two authors based their theories on the fair complexion of the Igbos, the similarities between Igbo and Hebrew languages, customs such as circumcision of the male child on the eighth day after birth and celebration of a feast at the end of harvest called New Yam Festival. According to their belief, Eri, the son of God and grandson of Jacob, left Egypt with his group in quest of freedom and new abode. They got themselves into a movement that had no predetermined destination. They passed through Sudan through Kogi state to settle in Igbo Uku and subsequently become the present day Igbo people. This, according to various authors, happened in about 1900 BC to 1300 BC at the time of Pharaoh's rule in ancient Egypt. This date was also supported by archaeologists. In 1939, Chief Isaiah Anozi from Igbo-Ku Anambra State was digging a toilet when many ancient artifacts were discovered. In 1959, Professor Thorstein Shaw, a professor of archaeology, excavated the site and found out the place was a storehouse of Igbo-Ku Ruya Regalia. Then he excavated compound of Chief Jonah Anozi, which was also found to be Igbo Uku ancient refuse disposal pit, and then the compound of Chief Richard Anozi to discover it is a royal burial chamber. All the items discovered were all radiocarbon dated to 800 AD. Meanwhile, some clay pots were recovered during Professor D. D. Atu's excavation of agricultural farm site of University of Nigeria, Onsuka, and were all dated to be 2555 BC. Other ancient artifacts such as bronze, anklets, rings, bells, and other well-manufactured ceremonial objects which were excavated from a chief's grave in the Eire Kingdom were all dated back to 3000 BC and 1495 AD respectively. Now, According to the Jewish history, Abraham, the grandfather of Jacob, was born in about 1813 BC at all present-day Iraq. Therefore, it means people were already in Igbo land for more than 700 years, particularly in Insuka and Ilturu areas before Abraham was born. Recalling that Abraham was 100 years when he gave birth to Isaac, according to the Holy Bible. It was also 60 years when he gave birth to Jacob, who begot God. Mathematically, this was more than 700 years after the birth of Abraham. Going by archaeological evidence, it means that people were already living in Anabra. Considering this, A.Z. Michael Uchebu concluded that the Hebrews who left Egypt around 1900 BC to 1300 BC and arrived in Igbo land through Sudan must have met some people on ground. The arriving Hebrews interacted and intermarried with the aboriginal black people on ground. The product of this intermarriage and interaction is Sibu, which is biologically and genetically a mixed race, partly white and partly black. Therefore, seeing that the Igbo people are the lost tribe of Israel is an understatement that needs to be corrected and it is against the custom and tradition of an African man for a visitor to take over his host's land. Hmm, thanks for watching this far, and are you convinced by this evidence? You can read what other people think in the comment section below and let's also know yours. Please do not forget to share this video on your WhatsApp and Facebook.